Hello everybody, my name is Rob with another Photoshop tutorial and today we're going to be looking at uh, a way to bring in some smaller pictures and putting them on um, a bigger picture maybe you want to put in a row of single images or some columns um, but doing this method it ensures that each picture is the same size and the gap is exactly the same and let's start and I can show you what I mean so the first thing we're going to do is we've just created an A4 canvas and the first thing we're going to do is just create a new layer on top of the background layer and then we're going to select our rectangular marquee tool and holding shift we're just going to click and drag to make a square and I'm going to press alt and backspace to fill it with black and I'm going to deselect with control and D command D on a Mac and so we've created our first shape but we want to copy this so I'm going to use control alt and T and this will copy it and automatically when I drag this over just hold shift to keep it aligned as you can see now it's put this second square on its own layer so press enter or click on the tick to commit those changes and now I'm gonna hit shift control alt and T all together and as you can see it's created another shape exactly the same with the same gap and if you hold them keys and press T again we get another one and another and another every time you press T but we don't want that many so let's just back up a bit and now I'm just gonna select the top layer holding shift select the first layer and then select your move tool and I'm just gonna drag them to this bottom corner and now what I'm going to do is holding alt or option on a Mac I'm just going to make another copy so press alt and drag up and it's copied these let go of alt and I'm going to press control and T for free transform right click and rotate 90 degrees and I'm just going to move this over to this bottom right hand corner and there we go and let go and press on the tick and I'm going to delete the top layer because we have two now of the same squares in the same position so I'm just going to delete that by pressing the delete key and there we go we have five boxes exactly the same size with exactly the same gap and I'm just going to position them in the corner okay so the first thing we're going to do to bring in our image is with this box here selected I'm going to click on the magic wand tool and click inside the box to select and now I'm going to bring in an image so I'm going to select all control or command A and I'm going to copy control or command C and go back into the, our image and I'm going to shift control alt and V to paste it in but it's um, it's too big for the square so I'm going to press control and T to free transform command T on a Mac and I'm just going to bring it down to resize control zero to show you the whole free transform box and I'm just going to position holding shift just going to drag and control and alt, uh, sorry, shift and alt to bring it out a little bit. And there we go. So click enter to commit the changes or hit the tick. So now we've got our layer over here with the mask and the layer underneath which we created the shape. And I'm just going to merge this to the one underneath. So to merge down is control or command and E and there we go it's on its own layer now and I'm just gonna apply some layer styles so double click and I'm gonna click on a drop shadow um, you can use what settings you like 
but I'm just going to use these settings now just for this example and I'm going to click on stroke as well make sure that the stroke is position is inside not outside and this size I'm using is 15 pixels I'm just going to change the color to black just so you can see just for this example and when you're happy press OK and that's it that's the first shape done the first picture is brought in and I'm just going to show you with a new image uh, I'm going to make a background image so I'm going to create a new layer above the background and I'm going to bring in a picture so control A or command A on a Mac control or command C and I'm just going to paste control V and I'm just going to move this over and there you go a very quick and easy way to ensure that your shapes or boxes or circles whatever you want are all the same size so all your pictures are even and the spaces are exactly the same and I'll show you a quick example of what I did with a wedding and there you go the pictures are all the same inside it's a black and white picture um, that I've put a white background behind and then I've reduced the opacity um, of that picture to 78% just to let some of that white through and that's it a very quick and simple way to bring in shapes so they're all the same size with all the same gaps in between my name's Rob thanks for watching any questions or comments feel free and I will see you next time bye bye